let us now look at the production systems that are mainly used for indigenous chicken. And we have three production systems. We have the traditional one, also known as the free range or extensive method. We have the semi-intensive, also referred to as improved production system. We have the intensive or what we call the confined production system. For this, for the purpose of this course, our focus is going to be on the semi-intensive method. However, I'm going to give a brief description of each of the production systems for the learners to be more aware of what they involve. You're first of all going to start at looking what is an indigenous chicken. We could have heard the word before, but probably we don't understand. An indigenous chicken is that chicken that is adapted to harsh environmental conditions. They would also be referred to as the backyard chicken, traditional chicken, scavenging chicken, the village chicken, the local or family chicken. A lot of us have different names for them in our different communities and backgrounds and countries. But I know when I mention traditional and scavenging and backyard, a lot of that falls into place for most of us. They are mostly reared in a free range system. And this we can relate to even as we were growing up. We saw the chicken roaming in the village, in the homesteads, and this is what exactly is called indigenous chicken farming. The indigenous chicken are usually kept for both meat and egg consumption, and especially more for the home use under the free range system. To achieve a successful business out of this kind of production, then the semi-intensive method is what would be recommended. That is, you take the free range system and we improve it so that we are able to get a better production out of it. And like I said, we are going to focus more on the semi-intensive method as we progress with the course. Let us start by looking at the traditional or the free range system. So what exactly happens in the traditional production system? In this one, the birds are usually not confined and instead they are let loose to scavenge for their own food and shelter is usually provided for the night. The free range is mostly practiced in the rural setting where the focus for this kind of system is more for the home consumption. So the meat, the eggs gotten from this system is, is mostly fed by the home owners. One main advantage of this system is that the birds also will use the leftovers and very little labor is required to run this kind of system. The significant disadvantage that we we'll always observe is when the birds are left to roam and scavenge for, for food, they are usually predisposed to infections and mortalities are usually a challenge. And a classic example is when a broody hen has the chicks and it's trying to rear those chicks to grow to growers and hens, but they don't, the survival rate is very low. They will have hatched like 10 eggs, but only three or four chicks at most will survive. Let us now look at the improved production, or what is also referred to as the semi-intensive method. This approach is adapted where the space is limited, and also where farmers want to take farming seriously. The pottery house is built within the run, a run being a fence area that is attached to the chicken coop and allows the bird to roam within the space freely and it is adequately fenced to prevent predators from accessing the birds. The birds have the comfort of a coop, that is the pottery house, and the secured run to exercise and scavenge for extra free food. In this system, feeding is supplemented with commercial feeds for higher production. The main advantage of using this system is that the birds are in a controlled environment and therefore they become easier to manage. The main disadvantage is that the birds will still be exposed to infectious diseases, mainly due to overstocking or overcrowding. And when we as farmers do not ad adhere to the cleanliness and hygiene on the farm level, then we are going to encounter challenges with disease infections. What of the confined production system or rather the intensive production system? In this system, the chicken are kept in a confined pottery house. At no one time are they let to go outside of the pottery house. They are provided with commercial feeds as the production is 100% geared towards profit making. Proper record keeping is kept. We have 
vaccination of the birds, biosecurity has to be adhered to so that you're able to reduce the cost of production because of disease infections and all that. So in this system, seriously, farming is what it's all about. We are making money, so you're not taking chances on anything. But notice that the birds are confined. They do not get out of the poultry house. So they are always 100% within the chicken coop or the poultry house at all times. Let us now get to look at why we would advocate for a semi-intensive production system when a farmer wants to get into indigenous poultry farming. One, we will see that the survival rates for chicks is higher than when we are using the free range system. The disease spread will also be manageable. We are able to control in breeding and the breed characteristics. And the, the advantage of this is because the management aspects, we are doing a cleaner system. We are able to feed the birds. We are able to supplement. We are vaccinating the birds. So things are getting better other than when we are doing the free range system. Using artificial brooding to allow the mother to get back to laying after hatching the chicks. And generally, if a hen broods the chicks, it takes longer to get back to laying. And we want it to get back to laying as quickly as possible so that we're able to collect more eggs, either for selling or for hatching more chicks for us, which could, we could also in turn sell to make an extra coin. We're able to plan for chicks to be hatched at the same time. So we're able to reduce our costs on vaccination and feeding as well, and so many other activities around the management. Planning your production so that it aligns festive seasons when you can make more money or more profits like during the Easter season the Christmas season or even the, during the holidays when the children are at home and you know most homes will be consuming the meat or the eggs easier because we are, we are keeping records and we are monitoring so we know day to day what is happening around this production system and we are also involving expertise in terms of veterinary services because our flock is growing and we are needing that expertise to come in and advise us on what we need. Therefore, things are getting better for us.